Hey guys, this is Andre, a certified translator in the real estate concierge, and we have literally some 10 minutes before rainstorm to shoot this follow up to my food bin, food cart video you saw last time. I'll see the popular food market, Kamarovsky, in the city center to see where the prices are going for something as classical as bananas. To us, it's as valuable as potatoes. Maybe some meats, fruits, you know, all the usual stuff. Thank you for staying with the channel. I hope you'll get this part two as an agreeable addition to part one. Once on the edge of the city, Kamarovsky Food Market is now in the city center. I'll get you some shots now, panoramic. But once inside, I have to say that the merchants aren't very outgoing when it comes to the camera, of course, definitely no interviews, but maybe some closer shots of the guys I know and they, that have me as a regular customer. So this will allow us some close-ups today. Of course, it's funny that the merchants should be uh, allergic to publicity, but that's how they are. Mostly, there will not be any complaints about life um, on the screen. So I'll just give you the synopsis a bit later. I'm by the entrance to the market. I'm hiding in the shades with this charming bronze lady, which makes one of the city highlights. And as you see, the folks around me don't really give a damn about COVID or anything related. Maybe some old folks who still go with the TV or what they saw on TV a quarter ago may have a mask but inside there positively nobody gives a damn except for salespeople who are forced to still observe the mask thing let's have a look inside The doors weren't made exactly to be customer friendly and since the folks down below are very sensitive to media attention, we'll shoot them from upstairs. Of course, every camera, every unusual thing is being quickly noticed by the vendors, they are classical bazaar vendors. So let's be discreet and ask the security guy if this may be a problem. Well, predictably, the brief security check was rather undemanding. So the small boss called the big boss and the big boss asked what kind of camera I'm using. So I guess in his camera world, there are small cameras and big cameras. And my small camera, the Pocket 2, actually saved my uh, day, let's say. Let's go and see what the meat people have to offer to the masses. That's the first vendor I know here pretty well. So there shouldn't be any anti-media, I hope. The tasting session is underway, so there wasn't a pretty uh, long dialogue here, but the lady cheerfully allowed me to shoot the uh, display. Lard, the most uh, interesting commodity here, is about 26 rubles. Turkey sausage is the most expensive, it's 49. I'll be giving you prices in rubles, because uh, my online converter is a bit jammed, so you'll have to convert. I'll put some figures on the screen, I guess. Uh, the extreme right row with dairy products uh, is uh, with mostly resellers. Farmers are still here. I guess it's a bit hard to tell who's farmer and who's reseller because uh, people are here 24 seven. I'm in at the day shift. So um, when they say I keep five cows and the guy or the lady is sticking around here, it's a bit hard to believe they're really into cow business because cow is also a 24 seven dedication. Funnily enough, the cottage cheese guy literally ran away off his uh, stand once I kindly, rather kindly, offered him to have some media coverage of his merchandise. I'm not sure why people are so conservative about it, but let's, let's talk to my honey suppliers over here.
my favorite honey vendor, Olga, in the back here. At the corner is uh, one of the most hospitable ladies. She does keep the beehives. Her husband is uh, minding them now while she's uh, pushing the merchandise to the global markets. If you pass by Kamarovsky Food Market, pay attention here. They'll give you some samples. They'll give you some uh, good choices. And uh, if you bring some uh, cans, glass cans that you don't need, they will cheerfully accept them for trade-in, so to speak. Seems the sky has cleared up, so we'll take a few steps outside the market now into the fruit uh, rows. But before we do that, I'll say hello to my cheese vendor. Here we are. Belarus is uh, so far still has a strong dairy sector. So let's have a quick look at the prices of the Parmesan and other things. And we're outside, back into the Belarusian reality. There's a lady selling hot pies in the back there clearly saying about what she's selling so over here there are more nervous people with their fruit and everything i guess any close-up have to be cleared before you come up with the camera so we'll do just that i have a few guys i know here and buy from regularly tomatoes too early for belarus uh, oranges uh, reddish i guess a bit early for belarus as well pepper surely not the season yet let's see what's on sale and let's see what what it costs my vendors here actually have uh, countered my suspicions that this is not a real merchant not local merchandise tomatoes and peppers come from greenhouses outside Minsk and of course there's a lot of import from Azerbaijan and Russia and from some warmer countries I guess not Ukraine this year but maybe there'll be some cross boundary cooperation out there when the new car harvest comes out uh, it's mid-May, so in June and July there'll be more exotic stuff out here. Although it's kind of around the year, except just the market and the supply or, or origin country changes. Otherwise, everything is here all the year round, more or less. But yeah, here are my fruit dealers, so let's shoot what they have to offer. I guess filming these last few minutes here, hopefully not literally, is a perfect way to illustrate what's happening in the market. The buckets of water are dropping from the top. Let's hope the roof will support that. And uh, as the ladies are battling to keep their umbrellas and all the cargo, I must say that the market is definitely under storm. We're not sure about what kind of logistical hurdles are coming out of the new vans for EU trucks to come over here. They have learned how to rehook the lorries. They have, well, I guess we'll have to save some people in their cash flying away. Just a moment. Oh, speaking of people's umbrellas, one nearly flew away. Uh, where was I? Prices are definitely going up by and by, and with a new harvest of whatever is local, whatever is almost local, with logistics changing, it's gonna be up much higher and much sooner than we expect and by some june or july price tags will change dramatically i know i'm a bit uh, you know giving you a bit of a scary version as you know i'm a well-informed pessimist so that's how it is this was andre from minsk this was part two of our uh, food cart report uh, shop responsibly travel wisely and i hope to see you in minsk someday cheers just a few seconds later the sun is shining through the sky the leftovers of the destruction are flying around. The ladies are smiling and exchanging the emotional uh, recoil from the, from the unweather. Let's hope everything's going to be fine sooner or later. Thank you.